Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to My Summer Car. It's Wednesday morning. We just woke up. Time to grab a little snack. 8am. Let's grab a little snack and a drink. Uh, let's go for some chips. Which will of course make us very thirsty. And we shall have a drink of water. Now, we've got a few things to do today. Uh, essentially, we're going to go on a sewage run. We've got a sewage point down there, which needs doing. We've got one up here into the church, and then we've got one up there, which is at the rally exit point. Uh, that's the crossroads where I died, by the way. And then we've got a drop-off here at Fleetari, uh, at the MOT test centre on behalf of Fleetari, if you remember. He wants us to go and dump all the sewage on him. But in order to do that, I think he wants us to dump 10,000 litres of sewage. And I think if we have a look here, because we've got three jobs... Oh, okay. We've actually got 5,000 litres already. All right. So each job does about 2,500 litres. If we do two jobs, it should take us to 10. We can then dump that onto the MOT test centre on the way... And then we can do the other one, the final one. So we'll get paid for three jobs. And then on the way back, if we go past Flitari, the mechanic, then he should pay us in bottles of very strong alcohol. The really, really like violent stuff um don't particularly want to use it but hey we may as well do the job now i was wondering where the diesel jerry can is and uh sure enough after reading some comments uh, i'm pretty certain it's over here by the log cabin so we'll just quickly go over here actually we'll have a quick whiz on the way or backwards as you do never done this in real life but hey why not <laughs> there it is there's the jerry can of course, if you walk backwards, then in theory you shouldn't get as dirty as if you walk forwards. <laughs> you don't walk into your own wee. Okay, here's a jerry can, which is great because it means I can now actually fill the tractor up. I assume there's going to be some left in here. Uh, so we'll go and fill the tractor up. Unfortunately, there's no way of actually checking if there's anything in here, which is a bit of a problem in this game. I think he needs to add a way so that um, if you pop the, if I pop the lid on that, and then I hover over the entrance. It's almost like I'm looking inside, and then it'll kind of show me approximately what's left, like half a half a bar or full or whatever. Because, you know, even by shaking it or looking in, you could get an estimate of how much is in there. But currently, the only way to find out is to basically to try and tip it into a vehicle. Uh, and even then, it doesn't tell you how much is in there. It just tells you that there's something in there. Uh, so it'd be kind of nice if you could give us a bit of a insight into that, I think. Right, so let's pop that open. Uh, let's open the jerry can lid there. And let's see. There we go. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So there is something in here. That bar's going up. I don't know if it's full, but we may as well use it. So we're going to stick this in the truck. We're going to drive the truck uh, to the southeast corner, do the job there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll get on the highway and go around to the shops rather than take the dirt track. And then we'll do some sewage runs, dump on the MOT test centre. Uh, we'll also check in at the shop, just in case our mail order has turned up. Because what might happen, you know how we put an order in for some spoilers and uh, a new radio system and stuff. Uh, what might happen is he might try and call us, but we're going to be out all day. So, you know, it might arrive today. Uh, so it's worth checking on that. Let's put that in there. It's worth us visiting the shop to see if our parts are there. Um, right, I know which jobs we need to do. Let's pop that on, get the ignition coils going. Uh, unfortunately, I can't wind the windows on this. You can in the car. Well, <laughs> no idea what that is, but we'll listen to it anyway, because we can. Let's get some lights on. Okay, we'll drop the axle because we're already half full and this thing's pretty unstable with the axle up. Okay, I'll drive around to the first sewage point and we'll pick it up then. 
Whoa, 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 that last bend. Blimey. I should have gone the other way. I normally do go the other way. Okay. Here he is. Uh, the things at the back there. Let's go this way. Sorry for blinding you, mate. I'll probably turn my lights more or less off now. Okay, let's go over here. Should be about right. Why did that stall? This engine on this thing. That's some great music, that is. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, can we get off the roof, please? Can we just get inside the cab? Alright, let's pull forward. Oh, not again. There we go. Engine is so temperamental. I'll put that there. Definitely full. Let's uh, find the end bit. There it is. Go on, in you go. Come on. There it goes. Are you going to go in? Oh, wow. I know what's going on here. This game just wants me to fall in there. <laughs> it's like, come on, lean over. See if you can make it go all the way in. Oh, no, you, you fell in. You're dead. Father. He's oh. Right, I'm going to have a beer. Look, we're a bit thirsty. Um... There we go. Let's crack out a beer. You can keep that, mate. It's a present. Do you know, you've got quite a decent spot here, if I'm honest, because um, where you've put your table, you get the early morning sun, don't you? Because the sun comes up over there and stuff. You know, you're away from the, you're away from the main road. I know we're talking about Finland here. It's not New York City, is it? But you're away from the main road, set back on you. You've got your own little private road, basically, haven't you? I think you should probably time out your driveway. Maybe put a fence up as well. When you bought this place, mate, did they tell you about that gigantic rock? I think you should build something on that rock. You should do something. Oh, no, what you should do? You should hire a um, somebody to basically sculpt it, like carve something into it, like a face. Put your face on there with a beard. What do you think? Not very chatty, are you? Okay. I can take a hint, bro. I wonder if there'll ever be anything in that thing. I reckon this must be nearly empty now. Let's go and have a look at the meter. 7,000. Yeah. Should get up to about 7.5 and, and then we'll be done. There we go. Hmm. You only had... Dude. You only had 2,000 litres of poop. Could you, like... Could you do some more next time? Because I need to fill this thing up. That could be a problem for us, you know. That could be a bit of a problem. Because I think we need to have it completely full. For the MRT to count. As in, we've got to pull a full 10,000 on that guy's front. Otherwise, Fleetari won't pay us. Come on, game. Lift up. There you go. Let's put that back on that. Let him cover that up himself. Okay, job number one complete. Well, I'm going to head back to the highway now. We'll take the uh, the quicker route back to the shop. Rather than the dirt track. Now, one of the things I was thinking about for the car... 
is I was thinking about putting it back in the mechanic and getting the gear change, get the um, the ratios on the gears changed because the the default way that it works, like if you go for the normal one, it's great for kind of high end speed. So if you want to go blasting down the highway. You can get that kind of extra top end speed out of it, but for the rally, you don't appear to be able to get into fourth too often. And it kind of dawned on me that if we change the gear ratios, we might get a better time. Now, as for the coil springs, you know we got those coil springs? I don't think they actually help the handling of the car in the rally. Um, it is possible that those springs make the back end higher, and therefore you could drive down the train track without taking your exhaust off so it is possible that those springs are for that purpose but in terms of handling I don't think they help now we're going to be out all day today so tomorrow on, when, on Thursday I might have to put the car in the mechanic and get the gear ratios done so that we get the car back Friday and then we can rally it on the Saturday so we might have to do it that way but we'll see here we go there's the shops. Probably need to have a beer in a minute. Just thinking if we need to buy any more supplies or not. Oh, one thing I want to do is go is go back to the um, the cabin because there's actually a camera in there that you can get now, which is quite funky. So we need to get that camera. Uh, let's see, tank is on the left, I think. Oh, hello! Look who it is. Should we say hi? Hey! Oops, sorry! Sorry, my bad. I missed, I'm a bad driver. You think he'd say something about the fact that you just smacked into his car? That is turning into some weird noise. But whatever. Okay, we'll flip that over like that. Uh, diesel. Now, it doesn't take long to fill this thing up, but filling the, uh, the truck takes forever. It really does take a long time. It's a pity you can't do what the uh, truck drivers do. You know, they, they put it in the slot and then they have that, like, pin. And they can put it across the handle and it'll just sit there and fill up and they can walk off for a bit. Okay, put that inside. That's one. Whoa, 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 dude, dude. Just, just don't, mate. Just what do you think you're doing, pal? Did I bring the sledgehammer? I didn't, did I? You're really asking for trouble. You're re you're really, really asking for trouble, mate. Let's go one on one, bro. One v one me. Oh god. Okay, I just lost a lot of stuff. Hang on. <laughs> oh, he's dead! Oh, no! Hang on, let me put my pizza thing back in there. I've got the beer. That's the main thing. Let me get this. Yo. You know... I wasn't actually looking for a fight or anything, but you kind of picked on me, didn't you? Don't slope away from me, buddy. You know. You picked that fight. You've only got yourself to blame for that. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, I need to go back and fill up my truck. The guy who owns the shop probably thinks I've drove off and not paid for anything. I mean, I know I scratched his car, so you, you could argue that 
he kind of got angry and that was something to do with me but you know don't don't pick on a guy in a big truck come on it's not going to end well is it calmly carries on filling up on diesel there we go all full the bus has turned up let's go and pay for this Yo, 669 mark. Oh, you've got the postal order. 3,168, dude. Oh my god. That's a lot of money. Um, I can't remember how many bags of sugar we had back at home. 3, 4, 5, 6, that's enough for another one. We'll make sure we've got a couple of yeast. And we'll get all the juice we can get. Uh, more sausage. How much is that? 170, that'll do. Nothing on the floor, no. Okay. Let's get our stuff. Uh-oh. Let's put that back there. Crack open another beer. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a big box. Do you know what? I didn't think this through. I picked up all this stuff and I don't know if it's going to fit in the truck properly. <laughs> see you later, pal. I shall have my revenge on you one day for that bus napping. Don't you worry about that. I'm going to leave it in the box because it's kind of easier to see in the box. If I open it up and put it inside the truck and it starts jangling around, I won't be able to see it. Let's put these out of the way. Lovely leopard skin ones. Right, there's nothing else there, is there? Uh, having said that, with this one, I might have to open it anyway. Hmm. Yeah, now I wish I'd never opened it. Now I really wish I'd never opened it. Okay, we've got the, <laughs> got four pieces of plastic. How did they fit this plastic into that box? That's the completely the wrong shape. You've got to be kidding me. Something tells me I'm going to be losing pieces. Oh my god, this was such a bad idea. This was a really bad idea. I'm going to lose something. It's guaranteed. Okay, let's put that there. Right, I'm not opening these. This can go in as it is. You can sit there. Oh, it's glitching. It's glitching out. Come on. Uh, you can go there. You can go like that. Maybe you can go like that or something. There you go. You can go in there. Really worst idea. I have ever had. Alright. So. Let's get going. This guy's reading poetry or something. It really does sound like Vogue on poetry. Right, so we've got the bus guy on the road. We've got the green car on the road. Don't need to worry about Wub Wub. He's going to be dead for a bit. Uh, let's go and get these other two. Is that going to be alright there? Get these other two sewage jobs done. And then we're going to empty the contents all over the MOT test centre. We'll do this one first. What I want to know is, what is he going to do with this running track? What's the plan, though? There's clearly a plan here. Let's lean out, reverse it. Oh! I like how it's at the bottom of his driveway just before it drops down into a running track. Thinking about there-ish. Let's go and have a check. Good morning, sir. We're here to empty your poop. Is he not bothered the fact that a teenager, a teenager just turns up with a sewage truck? Like, yeah, yeah, it's my dad's. He's, uh, he's taking a holiday. <laughs> I'm just filling in for him. Go on, down you go. 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Lovely jubbly. I think we'll have another beer as well. If I can find the beer, that is. There we go. <laughs> Morning. Keep that. Wow. That just disappeared into the guy's crotch. <laughs> So, do you mind if we chat while I'm winning? You don't mind, do you? What a nice garden you've got here. Nice view of the church and stuff. Have you checked your mail this morning? You might have something in the mailbox, you never know. Let me just check it for you. No, it's completely empty, mate. Nothing inside. No post for you. My dirt in this bar's gone up, so's my fatigue bar. Right, we're looking for 10k on the meter. We're not going to get it though, we're only going to get about 9 in a bit. I'm not really sure whether to... Whether to fill it up completely and empty on the test centre, which means doing a partial job over there. Or whether to just risk it and empty what we've got. See, look at this running track, it's got like a football pitch in the middle. I mean, maybe this is something from his childhood or something. But it kind of feels like he's got a plan here. There's the antenna in the distance. Oh, there we go. Just take the money and let's continue with our lives. This is the guy who's embarrassed by the fact that he poops. So cool. He feels bad. He's like, let's just pretend this never happened. Okay, let's pull forward a bit. Oh, that was on the cusp of breaking. It's always a problem with that thing, is when you pull it forward, if you go a bit too fast or a bit too far with it, it actually snaps. And then the sewage pipe breaks, and the only way i found to get it back is to reload, is basically to save the game, and then it resets everything, like, you know, Mr. Wobble will come back. Okay, let's put that on here. Let's see how much we've got. That's got to be enough. That's like 9,700 litres of poop. If that's not enough for Fitari, well, he can keep his vodka. Let's do it. I don't know what his beef is, beef is with the MOT test centre. Maybe he failed some stuff. And he's really annoyed with him. I don't care. We don't need the MOT test centre anymore anyway. Uh, let's think. Left here. It's just over there. Hmm. Well, let's put it on the ramp. Let's try and reverse in and put it all over the ramp. There we go. Okay. See how far we can get inside this test center. It's either that or through the main door. Could we get on the main door, do you think? That could be beautiful. One second, let me open the main door. So the door opens the wrong way. Hey! Good morning and welcome to Rindell Car Inspection. Good morning, sir. Uh, I've got a little delivery for you. It's from uh, a Mr. Flitari. He sends his regards. Uh, I'll just go and get it for you, okay? Don't go anywhere. Oh man, the boxes are everywhere. Could be a problem lining this thing up. Try that. Let's see where we are with that one. Oh, 
Okay. Screenshot that. This is a mo monumental occasion. Oh, 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 oh my god. It's absolutely perfectly lined up. Look at this. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? I'm gonna get covered in poop here. Oh, my life. Oh. Oh, it's a travesty. Oh my god. Oh, the chocolate sauce is real. <laughs> it doesn't look like 10,000 litres. Oh my god. Oh, that is so nasty, mate. Do you know, your customers are going to have to wipe the feet on the way in. Let, let me try. I try and wash it for you, but I've got nothing left. Oh my god. Look at my dirt in this bar. <laughs> Wait, is that my stuff? You thief! Did I put it here? I don't remember putting this here. Did I actually put this stuff here? Let me put that there for you. Because you never know when you're going to need it. And put a little wheel on top. Look, if you stand in his body. Look, watch this. It kind of feels like you're him. I'm a little bit too tall. I'm inside his head, quite literally. Oh, that is such a mess. Oh my god. I need to pull forward and we can up close the spell valve. I can hear the green car kicking around. Well, that is signed, sealed, and delivered, right? Dear me. Have a nice day. I'm sure you won't get any more customers today. I don't think they'll want to walk in there. I can hear, I can hear the green car. There he is. Doing his thing. Right, we've got one more. Um, one more sewage job to do. Uh, let's think. Was there anything else we was going to do? We've got the diesel. We've filled up the tank. We've emptied all the stuff. We need to go past Flitari now, don't we? So we've got one more down here. Time's on the clock. Quarter past three. The mechanic closes. Oh, if we stop here, we won't get to the mechanic on time. Let's leave that job. Let's go straight down to Flitari. Try and get there before we close. I think he closes at four, though. I don't think we're going to make it. Because uh, hopefully he's got our little reward. When the game is 25 past three, I'm going as fast as I can in this thing. <laughs> Well, there's a very real risk. I'm going to bin it. This is basically the rally track in reverse. Yeah, we're going to make four o'clock. It's a first track. It's going to be... In this game, it's going to be about 15 minutes before we get there. At least. And that's assuming I don't crash. So did I shut the door properly? I think I did. Why does he have to shut at 4 o'clock? Why can't he shut at, like, 5? Like most normal people. If you remember on the rally, this is, like, the long stretch on the way back. Wow, we're catching this guy up. I'm not saying I'm going fast, but I'm catching him up. This is awesome. I tell you what. If he gets in my way... If he slows me down, imagine looking in the mirror, being that guy looking in the mirror. And you see this coming at you. Oh my god. I got boxes. No. <laughs> oh my life. This isn't fair at all. I've got boxes in my face while I'm trying to race this guy on the dirt track in a truck. I can't catch him. I haven't got the acceleration. I've got the top end speed over him, but it's quarter to four. Come on! Come on, dude! Dude, dude, don't slow me down, don't slow me down! 
I'm giving you a push. I'm giving you a push down the hill. Don't slow down. It's going to be bad for both of us. He's going too quick. I'm, I'm literally pushing this guy. He's going way faster than his engine can go. Oh my god. This is going to end badly for both of us. I can feel it. Oh my god, I can't keep it on the track. No, no, don't, don't break suddenly. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I need to get in here. I need to get in here before 4 o'clock. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, one sec. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, boy, I heard what you did. Here's 10 bottles of booze. You really deserve this. Oh, yeah. 10 bottles of booze. Don't mind if I do. Just what I need. Loads of stuff to carry around. Trouble is, I've got no bag or basket to put them in. Has he got out? He did, he got out! Oh my god, he actually got... I ditched him, but I didn't kill him or anything. I've already killed one person today. <laughs> Alright, let's put that there. Let's get this box, get it out of the way a bit. There we go. Oh my god, everything's gone everywhere after that. That was crazy. That was genuinely crazy. Okay, let's see if we can throw these in the back. I can hear a thunderstorm. We got ten. I don't. I don't know if I've got them all. Ten bottles of booze. This stuff like will knock you on your back. Like each one will just make you sway, big time. Uh, I don't feel like that was ten, but I can't see any more at the moment. There's one under my. Oh my god. Hang on. Is that it, do you think? Yo, you didn't see a thing, pal, okay? You didn't see a thing. I'll be back tomorrow. I need some gear changes done. Is that okay? We'll look at your catalogue tomorrow when I've got the car. Right, let's get this lot home. Oh, is it that here? Crikey. I don't think I've ever carried so much in this truck as what I'm doing right now. That was, um, that was pretty insane. Not gonna lie. I had visions of driving along behind that green car and the green car just like going over the top of it and then flipping the truck and everything inside this truck just going everywhere. I honestly thought that was gonna happen. But I didn't kill the green man, so that's a bonus. Right, let's get this stuff home. Finally back home. That was a very, very interesting day. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, come on, engine. Don't do that to me. It's just weird, isn't it? Why does it do this? I think it's because I've got the clutch down. Let me just put the clutch back up. I think it is, you know. I think this like it glitches out when you've got the clutch down. It's really bizarre. Let's be careful I don't actually damage my own truck, my own car with this thing. So one thing we do need to do as well is go back to the wood delivery point because if you remember we left the trailer there because the guide glitched out on us. <sighs> wow. Turn that off. That, not going to lie, that was a very interesting day. But we've come home with a lot of stuff. Let's get out on this side. Oh my god, it's just like vodka dropping on the floor. <laughs> like, really? Okay. And it's about to throw it down with rain. Okay, let's get that big box out of there. I wish it had not unboxed that other box, although if I hadn't have done it, it might have not fit in the uh, truck properly. Wait, has my car been moved? Why does it feel like in this game stuff just gets moved around? 
I think I parked it like that. Hmm. Okay, right, let's get the vodka, which obviously won't smash when you throw it. And over there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. It looks like I got all got all of them. Put that over there. Oh come on, game. Thank you. Ten. So we didn't lose anything. There's the shopping. Uh that thing. That flies quite well, actually. It's like a frisbee. Look at that. Eee. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is more fun than it should be. There's a diesel. Yeah, you see, that doesn't fly anywhere near as so. far. Uh, we've got another box here. Look how much stuff. How do we fit all of this in here? That's just crazy. For some reason, we've got a bottle of kill you in here. So we'll take that out. And the rest is just supplies. That's good. Okay. That we'll have to fill up the tractor later. Let's get this bag inside here, because this will just explode anyway. Can we fit that through there? Oh, scumbag game. You can glitch things through, but you can't glitch the bag through. Put that in there. That's got the sugar and the yeast. We've got loads of sugar and yeast, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to have more, does it? Um, let's see. Let's open our stuff. We better get into bed as well. We are, like, massively fatigued after that day. I'm not surprised. Uh, but that's cleared a few things off the board, I reckon. Yeah, so there's just that one near the rally that we didn't do. But that's fine. It's a job that we can do in the future. Uh, Wednesday night. Kill the phone, because... We won't get a phone call now unless it's that idiot who wants picking up. Okay, I'm not sure why I'm hearing crashing noises, but whatever. Uh, let's put these inside. Wait, what the heck? I thought I'd lost that then. Okay, let's have a look at you. Ah, front spoiler. Nice. Let's see what else we got. Got a fender foiler. Jeez, man. Fender foiler. Um. Can't say it. A fender flare spoiler. Which is going to go down the front now. And we've got the fender flare rear right. Which is the one, in fact, that goes... Let me close that door a second. This one basically goes on here. Like that. Uh, the rear left obviously goes around the other side. Let's get that front left. Just the front right. Let's move this. Rear spoiler two. Look at that bad boy. Just look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. We could of course um, paint this. It's going dark real quick here. I think it's about to start chucking it down. Let's put this on here as well. Yeah, that storm is definitely coming in. Look at the look at that sky. It's like hell's coming. Okay, let's go over here. This should be the hi-fi, and this should be the um actually what is this? Oh, the uh the rev counter thing. Yeah, of course. We've got the rev counter. Wait. Did we already fit the subwoofer? Uh, uh, where's the speakers? I thought there was a subwoofer tray that goes on the back. Did we not order that? I thought it came with the hi-fi. Did I leave a box? 
I'm going to check inside the truck here. No, nope, there's definitely nothing in here. I thought there was a, a subwoofer you could get. I need to go and check the order form. All right, we'll worry, worry about that in the morning. Let's close up shop here. Maybe I need to put another order in, I'm not sure. At some point, I think we should um, drink a few of these, knock ourselves completely stone cold out, just for the lol. You know what, I'm going to leave these out. I can't be bothered moving them tonight. Oh, there goes the lights. They'll come back on in a sec. It's a good job I turned them off, you know. Because uh, if you answer that, it'll kill you. Okay, thirst is high, fatigue is high. What a day. Seriously, what a day. Have a quick look at the um, magazine before we go to bed. I didn't order the speakers. What the heck? What a fruitcake. All right, there's no, not a big deal. We'll, we'll order that in the morning. That explains it, though. We'll order the speakers in the morning. Um, we'll also take the car over to Flitari and put it in for a gear change. That's going to be Thursday's job. Uh, but right now, I need to have a very quick sauna. And I need to go to sleep before I die of fatigue. Let's do that. Can't go to bed covered in. I mean, seriously, after what we did today at the MOT Sand Center, I'm pretty certain that we stink of poop right now. So we definitely need to sort that out. I wish there was another way of getting clean, though. I mean, I like saunas, but I wouldn't ever want to get clean via saunas all the time. It just takes too long. Like, having a shower is so much quicker. But it's the finished way, I guess. Be nice to have an alternative, though. Like, I could understand if the sauna was on the island. Um, because you can't get any running water down there. So that, that would make a lot of sense. But over here, where we've actually got a shower, it would be cool if you can actually use it as a shower. Should be enough, I think. Okay, let's put that over there. Another quick drink before bed. And we are done. Okay. Onward and upward. On to Thursday when we're going to do some completely different stuff.